All right, so um, we're going to learn how to draw hands in different positions. I'm using two millimeter lead. You can get it in the uh, art store, and then you sharpen it with uh, your sandpaper. I'm using my webcam here, and if people prefer the pencil over the Photoshop, because I prefer drawing with pencil, and if you prefer these videos with pencil, let me know. Uh, leave leave comments in the feedback, and that you want to you know you want to learn more about drawing. Uh, the human figure and other things and I'll go ahead and purchase a better camera if so. Alright, um, first thing is imagine the hand as, as two two shapes and the first shape because we're going to be drawing it from different positions we're going to just kind of do an oval like this and then do another oval coming off about like that. So you have these two ovals overlapping each other and then draw this piece of skin in between like so and that gives you the basis shape for drawing hands. That's the shape that is right here on the hand. You got that shape. And this is the main shape you need to memorize because this is the way you're going to be drawing hands most of the time is from this angle. And from here you would go ahead and you would add this knuckle. Now it's very rare that the hand is ever going to be just direct like that where you can't see any other fingers. You're always using it to see other fingers so keep that in mind and let's go ahead and draw this finger coming out like so and I'll kind of just draw the basic shape in here like that and then we'll draw basic shape for the thumb. Okay. Now from here you can decide either some of the fingers from this underside are going to be showing, in which case you'd show part of the underhand, or you can show part of the overhand here at a slight angle coming down like so. That way you have this knuckle and maybe that knuckle and you can draw the finger coming up and let's say it's going to be coming over there then you have your other finger like that and you might even be able to see part of that one too like so and that's really all there is to the hand it's it's really not that difficult um, if you haven't watched the first video on hands you might want to go ahead and watch that that way uh, you know the how to draw the hand and its proportions and everything okay there we go Now if you again now if you wanted to draw it slightly from the underside, we can do that just as easy by just erasing that. Then you can you're gonna be able to see part of this underhand here and it's gonna come through like that. So you see, it's gonna be like that. And then you can have uh, part of one of the fingers coming out. then maybe you'll have part of that finger coming going behind or something and then uh, I don't know that finger can be coming out partly too if you wanted it to and either going behind um, maybe actually just kinda have it kinda actually it's come somewhere in there like that and that, that should be cool I probably didn't want that many of those fingers showing through so I can just change that really quick by you just have that one that one finger there and then you can just have these two fingers slightly just slightly coming out um, like so I have less of the hand less of that part showing anyway so you get the idea I would actually change that but okay now the other side of the hand, without the thumb, you can just then draw that basic oval shape and you know it's going to be kind of bigger down here. And then you would have your finger, remember the this first part of the finger is going to be the same length as this part of the finger here, about like that. So even though you actually have the, 
you know, the one, two, three divisions, just remember like this finger here, this part from the knuckle to the middle is about the same as here. With the pinky, you have three divisions, but you can you can draw the midpoint and then then you don't have to worry about the divisions yet, then add the divisions in. I actually probably made the pinky a little too long, but then you can add those little divisions like that. Just makes it easier, I think, thinking in halves than thinking in, in threes at first. And then you can go ahead and draw that part of the hand. And obviously some of the other side of the hand as you look is gonna is gonna show through and then you can show part of the palm. I'll actually show that part of the hand actually. That side will be easier. And you can probably see a little bit of it coming through. Then you'd have your fingers however you want. Okay, but so just forget the idea. This is just like throwaway paper, printer paper. So just for sketching on here. And now let's um, let's see here how much time to have left. Not much. Okay. Another angle that uh, you know would be popular that the hand is going to be shown in, and I'm trying to make sure I can still be okay. Cool. Just want to see where I'm at on the cam. Start by drawing your. Uh, still don't have that basic shape, but you got to think in 3D too. So what we're going to do here is we're going to draw that that basic shape I told you about before where you have the one here and then the other one like that that basic shape but we're gonna think in slightly 3D so we're gonna we're gonna bring that shape out just a little bit over here so we can see part of the other part of the hand and then we'll bend the wrist like that okay that's good Add that little bit of skin here, and then it's going to actually, all that's always going to be shaded in darker. So let's have this knuckle and that knuckle. So we'll have the knuckles coming like that. Then you can kind of erase some of the, so you have the basic. So anyway, remember we start with that basic shape still though, because that is an important shape to have. And then we can draw the thumb here. Actually, wouldn't it be the under part? It'd be the top part of the thumb, so I should actually draw this different like this. I'm just going to draw lines at first, and then I can draw like the circle. So I'm just going to kind of do like that, and then kind of do the same thing, another line. And then this, these fingers are going to fall and hide behind those ones. Then I can add the meat onto the thing. Remember, you want to always think in, in 3D as well. I'm doing this real fast, so obviously the sketches are going to look a little sloppy, but that's okay because just doing as fast as I can to get the basic shapes down. Okay, so there you have it. I have 44 seconds left, so I'll go ahead and uh, waste it maybe drawing something other. Uh, keep in mind that the bottom of the hand, you have the plane here the plane here, then you have the part that comes up right here. This is all sunk in like that. And then you then you have these planes that where the fingers are going to come off. And you have that plane. And remember this side's so it's these are three dimensional shapes. So you always want to remember that when working with the hand, that all the shapes and then the thumb would actually come off over there. That's all three dimensional shapes and that's important to remember. Okay, so my time's up now. 
and 6543 and I'll go ahead and maybe record another video right now continuing this.